Imagine, if you were doing something that was holding someone or something back, wouldn't you rather know? Would you prefer people to keep it to themselves or have your back and let you know? Take your personal life. Those that you hold dearest and closest to you, those you love are often the people who tell you what you really need to know, not what they think you want to hear. Today, we'll discuss how to effectively deliver constructive feedback and the necessary skills and mindset changes to make this process successful. Understand the purpose of feedback. Can I just take a moment to give you some feedback? How does that make you feel? Excited or slightly sick? We've all been there because of bad experiences and managers delivering feedback as criticism. So don't be that person. When you offer feedback to people in your team, you want your team to feel that this is a chance to learn and develop. Feedback is not about criticism. It's about growth and improvement. Your goal is to help your team members develop their skills and achieve their potential. Keep this purpose in mind to maintain a positive and supportive tone. Prepare for the feedback session. Before you provide feedback, take the time to prepare. Gather specific examples of the behavior or performance you want to discuss. This preparation ensures your feedback is clear, objective, and based on facts. Choose the right time and place. Feedback should be given in a private and comfortable setting. Ensure that the timing is appropriate so the team member is receptive and not distracted by other concerns. Please do not deliver feedback on Slack, WhatsApp, or email. The written word can have huge nuance and also feedback should be a two-way conversation. Doing it via these one-dimensional methods does not result in a positive outcome. How might that come across? My manager can't talk to me about a situation. Are they scared? Do they care enough to give me the time? What do you want as a new manager? Use the SBI model. Situation, behavior, impact. Situation. Describe the specific situation where the behavior occurred. Behavior. Focus on the behavior, not the person. Explain what they did. Impact. Discuss the impact on the behavior on the team, the project, or organization. For example, instead of saying, you were unprofessional in that meeting, say, during yesterday's meeting, Situation. You interrupted several times while others were speaking. Behavior. Which disrupted the flow of the discussion. Impact. And then ask an open question to drive a two-way conversation. For example, were you aware of this? Or can you help me understand the situation or why this occurred? Make sure that in this conversation, you are using another fundamental management skill, active listening. Seek to understand and then work together to understand a better way forward and how to avoid what happened in the future. It's a two-way conversation. Be specific and objective. Avoid vague statements and focus on specific behaviors. Use clear, objective language to describe what you observed. This helps the team member understand exactly what needs to change. Balance positive and constructive feedback. While it's important to address areas for improvement, also acknowledge what the team member is doing well. This balance ensures that the feedback session is encouraging and motivates them to improve. Encourage dialogue and active listening. Feedback should be a two-way conversation. Encourage the team member to share their perspective and listen actively to their responses. This shows respect and openness to their viewpoint. Offer support and resources. Help your team members succeed by offering support and resources. This could include additional training, mentoring, or maybe adjusting workloads. Demonstrating your commitment to their growth fosters a positive environment. Follow up. After providing feedback, Follow up to see how the team member is progressing. This shows that you care about their development and are invested in their success. To be effective in delivering feedback, 
you'll need to adopt a few key mindset changes. Embrace empathy. Put yourself in your team member's shoes. Consider how they might feel and how you can support them. Adopt a growth mindset. Believe in the potential for growth and improvement in yourself and your team members. View feedback as a tool for development, not a criticism. Be patient. Change takes time. Be patient with your team member and yourself as you navigate this new role. By developing these skills and adopting the right mindset, you'll be well equipped to deliver constructive feedback that helps your team members grow and succeed.